On Monday, the 95th day of school, Jessica watched as Bobby gave Mr. Martin five bags of peanuts. After I retired, I just wanted to have something more to do. And um, we've always been interested in children. And so I had read in one of the newspaper articles about foster grandparents. And I thought that sounded really like something that we could do with our spare time. <laughs> so I came and talked to Mervyn about it. And he thought that would be great. When our foster grandparents are here on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and now they've added Wednesdays, the kids are really excited for that day. They are happily to go out in the hallway and work with them. They also, beyond just reading with them, they've built a relationship with them. And it's just more adult mentors in our students' lives here at Cohasset. And they do more than just play with the children. They actually have had some training with our internal reading corps coach. And they work on some intervention activities with reading fluency and getting kids to read smoother and have their reading sound more like talking. And they also read books with kids that are emerging readers, so they hear an adult role model reading and modeling fluent reading. They also, for those students who need a little more practice in reading or may not read consistently at home, it's another chance for them. And I enjoy, I'm thrilled with what I'm doing and I'm thrilled with the children that I work with because they're so wonderful to work with. The teachers are just the most accepting and appreciative people in the world and I think that that in itself just seeing the results of the kids making progress um, is rewarding not only to the teachers to the students but to me and they are serving kids from all walks of life and being that important role model and mentor to help the kids uh, succeed in school. They've given them the in social skills and they help give them that self-empowerment that they can learn and do uh, great things in school. I like working with her. Um, it's fun to work with her because Mary's just read together and um, talk about the books and stuff like that. You know what keeps me going? is the children. And I'm sure as Mervyn, you like that too. Well, these children are the parents' greatest treasure. And it's a privilege to be able to work with them. And, you know, it's kind of the right thing to do. It makes you feel good. But we have it throughout the, the county and um, in all the schools we are present. And it's a really neat opportunity to help kids bridge that gap with seniors and children and because um, a lot of families are moved away from their grandparents and so this is a neat opportunity to have some of that uh, unique learning that can happen as well from the experience of seniors.